This is awesome. This is like a private oasis in the town of Kensington in the historic district, and the house was built in 1909. So it's one of the original probably 20, 30 homes oh, in the so town. So is a lot this size typical? So this is a double lot over 16,000 square feet. What you're seeing here is very unusual. Wow. This is huge. Look how far back it goes. Are you looking at the back 40 there? Or? <laughs> <laughs> and guys, you have a garage slash barn here. The original house was smaller. There were some additions, and there's some stonework that is pretty unusual in Kensington. Okay. And then there's an addition on the top of the original stone addition. There's things you can and can't do with the property because it's in the historic district. So for instance, there's 11 windows in the house that you can't get rid of. Rule number one, you can't touch the windows. I'm not gonna touch the yeah. windows. Then we'll have to kick you out. <laughs> okay, see you in a bit. All right. Oh, okay. So we're in the original part mm -hmm. of this 1909 house. So you know this was the original because look at this pine floor. Yeah, yeah. a lot of good detail. Mm -hmm. Nice fireplace built in. And look what these are, the windows we cannot Can't touch. touch. <laughs> so from classic to mm. more contemporary. Exactly. OK, dining room. Yes. Good space. Okay. Into. And obviously an updated kitchen over the years. Yeah, probably done a couple decades ago, don't yeah. you think? Well, I think that's the beauty of something like this. You can kind of come in, re-envision it, but it functions as is. Oh, but I have lots of plans for this. <laughs> so let's go check out this stonework and what would be the first addition to this home. Oh, and look, more stone. More stone. Okay, it's nice to know there's a full bath on the, the main level. First full bath, mm -hmm. and then into what would be? I would almost use it as an extra bedroom. Sure could. Mm -hmm. This could be the main bedroom, or a guest suite, or maybe a den. Oh, you know what, with the stonework, I think I would like it more as a den. But you know what I noticed? It's got plenty of these half doors. Oh, okay. I love that. <laughs> Do you remember um, Mr. Ed? Oh, when yeah. you opened up the door, he was always like right there. Yeah, he'd pop his head through and be like, yeah. hello, Wilbur. <laughs> That's what it reminds me I of. I love Mr. Ed. I used to watch that all the time. <laughs> all right. All right. Shall we continue? Up we go. Okay. Tina, I love these stairs and these windows. Look. Those windows are really breathtaking. So far, I think this is my favorite feature of the house. Well, obviously, this has been redone. Yeah. Do you think they were this wide? I have no idea. I sure do like it, though. But we do know that this is the original part of the house because yep. these are the original pine floors. Yep. Okay. But let's head to the back. All to right. The addition. Wow, this ginormous okay. room. Okay. So there is Whoa. absolutely no question. <sighs> This bedroom is all about the windows. Look at this view of the garden below and right. the canopy of trees. If you're gonna have a beautiful lot like this, take advantage of it, and this is the best way possible. It's gorgeous, mm -hmm. too. This little half wall, I think would be a little sitting area, mm -hmm. a little TV area. No, I agree. Probably isn't necessary. Yeah, I would still take this room in a heartbeat. <laughs> yeah, just pound this out. All right. Okay, so let's keep moving. Oh, okay. right around the corner, we have our ensuite. Main bathroom. Yeah, so not a double vanity, but, you know, a nice big sink. Mm -hmm. Nice big shower. All right. So another full yeah, bath. That's another full bath. Okay. So that's the third full bath? Yes. All right. All right. Washer and dryer. Always a plus. And two, what is probably bedroom number three, if we count that one downstairs right. as a bedroom. Yep. And this is the original part of the house. And mm -hmm. It feels that way, mm -hmm. even looking at the windows. Again, these are windows you don't touch, right? You know, I just love the whole design of these windows. And I guess knowing that they're part of history, too. Yeah, well, this was probably the owner's bedroom back, you know, in the Yeah. Day. All right. Wow. Well, that was a very fun tour. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. How was tour number two? Oh, great, but now we are again in a lovely courtyard area. I love a house that has like a story and a lot of flavor. Walking through this, I think you can feel the history of multiple families living here. You know, it was kind of a discovery in each room that you went into. Yeah, ready for a recap? I think so. I think so. Yeah. Okay, so four bedrooms, three full baths, approximately 2,500 square feet on the two levels. Okay. And built in 1909, so one of the original homes. You're in the historic section. You can walk to the Mark train from this house as well. So question, is there a basement? There is a basement, and it's almost like an old cellar, you know, from a 1909 house. Mm -hmm. I so wish you were going I, first. I'm <laughs> so glad you're going first. I know, well, you know, it's, it's this lot. 
that is really kind of... It's the of, wild card. All right, I'm just going to go 999,000. Okay. John? I will do a 900,000. You were so close. The list price is 997. Oh. <laughs> so close. You oh were my so God. You get brownie points. Thank you, you definitely get I'd brownie points. I'd rather have brownie points. You have one win, and I have one win. Right. And we have one house to go. And we're on our way to house number three.